right, I'm just doing another quick update on this thing. I forget if I had the red dot on or not the last time I did the update, but I put that on, took it to the range, zeroed it in, and it shoots nice groups. Uh, I also cut the front sight post so it's not the hooded kind anymore. The sight needs moved over the one way, but my sight tool wouldn't fit because normal AK gas blocks are like this and don't have this part here, so my tool wouldn't fit down around there. I'm going to have to maybe look into getting a different type of tool to push that over because I want to get the iron zeroed in. It's the main reason I wanted that to double the sight radius there was to get the irons sighted in for longer distance and I'm probably just going to keep the tool in here to remove the red dot because it's in the way of the iron so if the red dot went down I'd have to just take it off and throw it aside but other than that haven't had any issues with it runs good <laughs> I'm probably going to try and get a FSC flash hider for it probably a gen 1 they're like a hundred bucks but it'll eliminate the flame throwing on this thing this one's nice for the daytime but at night it really shoots a lot of flame out of there so that should be good once I do that haven't decided on the front hand guard yet but you can see from doing mag reloads and chipping into this wood so I guess I'll probably be replacing that with something else shortly hopefully before I totally destroy it because I kind of like the green on these Romanian wood I like to keep it for something else eventually but uh with the Stormworks adapter the only issue I've had is that castle nut came loose, which I tightened that up and put red Loctite on it. And this came loose once just because the washer crushed in and I was tightening it with just an Allen wrench. I put the um, Allen, I cut the tip of that, like that much of the Allen wrench off and stuck it in a socket and used it a quarter inch drive ratchet and took it back out, re-red Loctited it, and ran it back in this time tight as I could get it. It felt safe. And now I think that issue is probably solved, hopefully for good or for a pretty long time anyway. I ran a couple hundred rounds through it and nothing's loosened it up, so it's rock solid. It's the only thing bad about having just one bolt in the middle, the way it's designed it with them lips. If I would've drilled the hole the exact proper size, it probably, would have worked out better for me, but I'm not a machine shop and it's hard to mark that out. I wish they would just send you like a paper or sticker or something that comes with this mount. So you could just stick it to the back of the receiver and that would be the exact whole location. You could just center punch it and drill it. That would be the easiest thing to do. But they don't do that. It probably costs like 25 cents for a sticker like that. It'd be worth it. I wish they would raise the price and send one of them with it. Just so that would have been at where it's supposed to be and the hole would have been the right size. I had to make the hole bigger because the hole was the right size, but it was off to the side just the tiniest bit so it wouldn't fit in because there's like a lip inside of this and fits into the hole and kind of supposed to hold it from sliding up and down. Pretty good design if you drill the hole exactly how it's supposed to be. So, other than that, I did notice I got a couple little gouges in there from the, um, shells ejecting, I guess. But that's probably normal. I'm not worried about that. Cosmetically, I'm not really too concerned about what this gun looks like. Uh, it'll look pretty sweet, but it'll probably be a little bit beat up because I'm actually going to use it, so... I figured that, oh, I'm gonna paint this and I'm gonna just probably tape off the front. Probably just take this off and I might just paint like from here forward minus this. 
with some like flat black heat paint or something to get that grind marks and stuff over there. I dremeled that. That took a while actually to get them pretty even. It wasn't very, I mean, it wasn't hard, but it was kind of tricky to actually get them pretty symmetrical. I got them as close as I can. You can kind of tell they're a little different, but it's pretty good. So that's pretty much it for now. Once I uh, get the front four end on and I'm gonna put a hand grip stop on it and stuff like that, I haven't decided which way I wanna go yet. I hate to go with the Zeneco and spend like another $300 just on a four end for it, but I don't know. The Midwest industry one's like 150 and it comes with the top end and the bottom, so it'd be like half the price. Might just go with that and just say screw it. But, and that one also ships way faster and you don't have to wait forever to get it from Russia. But, alright, that's it for now. I'll make an update here in probably a couple of weeks once I decide on that front fore end and order it and stuff. But other than that, it's pretty much done and it's how I want it. I gotta paint that too. So, I'll probably paint, I might just paint the whole thing, I don't know yet. We'll see.